going to realize revenue from this program. Uh, and you're using that as the example to, to spread this program throughout the city. What I haven't seen and what seems to have changed from the first time we saw, uh, talked about parking, uh, paid parking, was we haven't seen the numbers. What are the numbers? What does the city expect to realize uh, from a program that now you've, you've made it a 12 month a year program, uh, double the charges, the hourly and, and daily parking. Uh, what are the expenses and what, are the, what is the revenue you intend to realize? So um, the parking rates have not been doubled. They're, they were set at $2 an hour with a maximum of $10 per day. There have been a couple of holidays added that the council has an, or the city has an opportunity to double the rate on those particular holidays. I think it's three or four holidays, I don't remember. Um, in terms of revenue, it's a good question because when the program was first uh, proposed to council a number of years ago, in the middle of budget crisis, all kinds of things are going on. We've been studying this issue as I just went over. And the original intent was um, the program to be just a standard parking meter parking permits for the areas that are impacted by the residential. It was a pretty big program. It has been changed so much since then, the permits are free, reducing the uh, residential area, um, minimizing the impact to the residents as much as we can by not having to have the residents to have a permit for very big of a space. So the revenues come down quite a bit. We're estimating probably 150,000, but that goal is uh, for example, if, if Regan Beach moved to the Lakeview, we have to spend all that money on Lakeview. So under our boating and waterways contract, we're required to whatever money is collected there to reinvest it. We have maintenance and operations. As you all know, Lakeview Commons, I'm sure you've all been there. A $6 million gorgeous facility built with California taxpayer money. What they require us to do is to maintain and operate that, and we don't, that revenue wasn't budgeted for. Same with the new bathrooms and the restrooms and all the uh, ramp needs uh, replacement and there's an edge on the ramp that has to be fixed. So all the revenue collected there has to stay there outside the expense of operating it. So 150 or so. It's not intended to be this giant money maker. It's intended to be uh, generate enough money to pay for its program, provide some opportunity to invest in that particular facility. Regan Beach would have been a good opportunity to invest in that needs a complete remodel. Um, Revenue that's also collected can go to investing in that particular facility. I might have just said that. The management of the program, maintenance and operations. But the real big goal is to have a parking management program that looks at transportation as a whole. Um, our airport and transportation have to come into this. Developing a better transportation system so people are incentivized to use the tra public transportation and biking and walking. So the whole thing is a very, very big program, but the net revenue is probably going to be about 150. We won't really know until some of these questions get answered <coughs> and we implement the program, which is now not till June, and we conclude at the end of the summer and do an assessment. As I said at the beginning, the most important thing you have to do is assess this program every year. 